wires doing in this closet when I told you no wire hangers ever? Yeah. On the left, yeah. on the right. Yeah. Ooh, all night. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another beautiful Monday here in the Five Awesome Bears. And I'm very excited and happy that everybody was so energetic posting their video last week. And I know our video is going to get even better. So stay tuned for that. And, um, well, I guess we know further ado, let's get to the question that everybody asked last week. Okay, so our Tuesday bear, Mr. Joe, he asked us a question. And that question was, let's see if I can... My question for this Best impersonation. Wow. Um, I do have one, and I did this as a challenge. I don't remember if it was in this channel or in the Butcher Rejects um, when I started that channel as well. Um, and um, I'm not going to tell you who it is. I want you to comment on the video itself and tell me if you know who it is. Um, <coughs> me, me. Can you guess who that is? I'm um, pretty sure you guys know, but, you know, interesting to, you know, do. Meep, meep. Everybody gets a kick that at work every time that I'm moving patients around. They're, like, laughing and, like, oh, you sound just like ha, 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 you know, so, yeah. That is the best impersonation that I have. Maybe have others, but I don't know. That's all I have for the Tuesday Bear. Okay, so our... Wednesday Bear, Mr. Michael, he asked us a question, and that question was... My question of the week, do you brush your teeth with hot water or cold water? Um, I have to say I brush my teeth with cold water. Um, I shave with hot water and I take a shower with hot water. Um, but I have never tried brushing my teeth with hot water, so I'm going to try that right now. Hey everybody, here I am going to um, brush my teeth with hot water. And here we go. You know, not my cup of tea. Not bad. No. Okay, so our Thursday bear, Tom, he asked us um, a question. Before I go to his question, I really love Gary Coleman's uh, impression. That was hilarious. Every time I watch it, I just can't stop laughing because it's so funny. But um, his question was... My question. Memorable dream, I have to say. Um, I do have one in particular. It was, um, I was dreaming that I was not being abducted by an alien, but that I was visited by a very good looking alien and he came up to me and I asked him the reason why I haven't been able to find anybody. And um, he gave me comfort. He said eventually it will come when it will. So I was, it was a very strange dream, but I do remember it, and every time I remember it makes me smile a little bit. How good looking this alien was. Beautiful, modelly like person. Yeah, so that is my most memorable dream, I have to say, so. Yeah. Okay, so now for Friday's Bear question, Mr. James. Alright, so now we're up to my question. Uh, Star Trek for a celebrity. Wow. I I was fan, devoted fan of Alias. So if I ever saw Jennifer Garner in person, I'll I'll have a cow. Um, nowadays any of the cast of Lost, I'll die. But 
I, I really like Jennifer, uh, Jennifer Garner. I really was uh, an Elias fan. I like J.J. Abraham, so I, I, I really like his work. I really do. So I was really, really a fan of Elias. So yeah, Jennifer Garner will be like the best person if I ever saw. I'll be like starstruck. I'll be like, <laughs> yeah, one of those. Ah, uh, that was so gay. Okay, now for my challenge this week, um, as you notice in the beginning of this video, I uh, lip sync to a famous quote on uh, the movie Mommy Dearest. So that is my challenge for everybody in the channel. I want you to lip sync to a famous quote on any movie you want. Any movie, favorite movie, classic movie, whatever. Nothing too long. You know, just share the movie name and um, the quote and lip sync to it because um, I said so. Yeah. Um, the reason why I chose that particular clip, you'll find out at the end of this video on um, Today in History. You'll find out why. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for um, watching. Please rate, please comment, um, and subscribe. If you have anybody, friends, are interested on, on viewing us, uh, make sure that you um, help us. You know, we've picked up a couple subscribers, so thank you for those new people who have subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much. And I'm um, looking forward to uh, make better videos for everybody here. Um, I have a lot of plans as I mentioned for this uh, season. So it's going to be fun, you guys. So please uh, keep in touch. Uh, as I mentioned, comment and rate our videos. It's, it's important. Um, and um, other than that, thank you once again, everybody in the channel, for posting and giving an effort. So, so excited. I'm not tired of saying this, but I'm very happy about this. So other than that, I guess I'll see you next week with my video so take care god bless and happy mother's day for all the mothers that are watching my videos yeah happy mother's day bye on this day in 1977 the legendary actress john crawford dies of a heart attack in her new york city apartment Born Lucille Fay Lesieux, her birth years has been variously recorded as 1904-1908. Crawford was a nightclub dancer who broke into Broadway musicals in the jazz age of the 1920s. She first twisted her way into Hollywood stardom as a vivacious flapper in the 1928 silent film Our Dancing Daughters. She made a series of similar pictures including Dancing Lady 1933 which co-starred Fred Astaire in his silver screen debut. Crawford's seamless transition into the sound film era made her one of the most popular and by the late 1930s, one of the highest paid leading ladies in Hollywood. She fought for more varied and less stereotypical parts, winning dramatic roles in films such as The Woman, 1939, Susan and God, 1940. Strange Cargo 1940 and A Woman's Face in 1941. Less than two years after Crawford's death in 1977, her adopted daughter Christina published Mommy Dearest in which she alleged that the famous actress had been emotionally and physically abusive to Christina and her adopted brother. The book was later made into a critically panned film starring Faye Dunway as Crawford. Closet, what I told you, no wire.